Hi everyone, good afternoon. Hope you are good today. Yeah, today is actually Wednesday. If you are seeing my face for the first time, I am Obiagili, a YouTuber based in Abuja. Yeah, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to cook for fill, which is pigeon pea and achichede, which is kukuyam flakes. So if you are the kind of person that enjoys native food just like I do, please watch this video and learn how to make it. You can as well share it to your friends and family that wish to know how to make this delicious native food. Yeah. This food actually was, I was trained with this food. This was the favorite food we all had in my house when growing up. If I've not eaten this for a ah, I can't, I can't be myself. And I've not eaten this for a I've not eaten this for a for such a long time. No, as if one of my mommies know, she gifted me this for a I was even thinking of going buying it in the market but we in abuja buying in the market you don't actually know the one that will cook fast you don't actually know the one that will cook fast and you don't want all those stone very hard ones that will take time burn your kerosene if you are using kerosene or burn your gas if you are using gas you understand so you go for those ones that are easy to cook it has different species so you ask for the ones that are easily easy to cook the one that gets done like so fast some of it get done in 45 minutes to one hour why some take longer than that it depends so and in cooking such ones that takes so long you have to introduce some things that will make it to get done fast you can introduce um onion inside you can introduce um uh, you can introduce nail some used to put nail into the pot when it's done they will remove it some used to put spoon into the pot when it's done they will remove it many things that you can introduce while making this delicious meal called for fear and achichede achichede anyway doesn't take time to get done that's why you introduce it towards the end of the cooking when the for fear is already done but for fear is the hardest thing to cook it's actually delicious and it's worth the time so in today's video i will share steps on how to make it for yourself and your family okay guys you can see my profile i've already selected it and you can see how neat you have to cool down to select this profile because it usually has sand and stones inside if you don't want to eat soon why eating this for fear you select it properly and here is what i removed from it you can see it this is some that will not cook very well some of the for fear that will not cook very well and six i removed from it i'm doing something my lord hey oh this is my baby baby ella how are you? Fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm right here. Is the achicha. This is kukuyam that was cooked. They cooked it until it turns red. They cut it into sizes, into small, small sizes. And sun it. And it's very hard. So this is the kukuyam. This is what it looks like. I'll be pounding it so that it will be in small, small sizes. So let's start making those delicious achichede and fulfill. The first thing to do is to wash your fulfill thoroughly in order to remove 
all the dust that's been resting on it so here i've washed it the first time and this is the second time I'm rinsing it now and putting it into the pot that I'll be cooking it with. So after rinsing it, I'll pour water, very maximum amount of water that will allow it to cook. I will show you in the next clip. This is my fourth here. You can see it. I have to add enough water so that it will be able to cook very well. So it's still cooking. I'll show you guys when it's done. While your fofio is cooking, pound your cocoa yam, wash it thoroughly, and soak it inside water. You can pound it more, more than this. It depends on how you like it, but this is actually the sizes I prefer to leave mine. Wash your cocoa yam very well and soak it inside water. You can wash it two to three times. Soak with clean water till your fofio is done. If you are using fresh pepper like me, pound yours and set it aside. Okay, here is my achicha. I pounded it, washed it, and I tied it in leather. And right now, it's time for me to put it inside the pot so that it will cook together here is how you drop it inside your flat fair okay here is actually the things i'll be using to make this for fair it's actually still on fire cooking on the other the other cooker so but i'll finish it up here it's already night it's already night four of you takes time actually to done but this one is already done so right here what i have here is my onion and here is my ubaka and here is my fish here is my uh yellow pepper i will also add them um, cameroon pepper to it i prefer using yellow pepper and cameroon pepper to cook for fear instead of red pepper i prefer it to red pepper but whichever pepper you have still goes you can and here is my scent leaf i've cut it and washed it down actually why people why we use uh, the reason of using scent leaf to cook for fear is because some people uh purge after eating food like for fear beans anything beans they purge so in order for them not to purge you add a uh, scent leaf into anything beans it doesn't only people don't only add it for taste though it adds to the taste but it's not only for taste because this is like a medicine is like a medicine is medicinal is medicinal is good for the stomach it cleanses your stomach and your body system and is good to be used for detoxification so you can even wash scent leaf and take the water and see how your body will feel so it's a powerful medicine that's why it's being used in cooking so it's very good to use it while making any kind of beans especially in this four fuel so that's it Add your oil to the pot and add in your onion. Stir and fry for one minute. Add in your maggi spice. Mm. 
you add in your Cameroon pepper and your yellow pepper. And stir. I wish you are here to perceive the aroma, the aroma of this oil already. Go in with your salt. Sorry, I didn't record when I added in my ubaka. I went in with my ubaka next with my fish and lastly i added in my scent leaf and i stirred together and that's my sauce here okay guys our four fill is done so let me mix it so add in your four fill you can as well put your four fill inside the mortar and pound it Adding your achichebe. And mix properly. Your full fill is done. You can see very delicious food. Kindly try out this full fill recipe. And let me know how you like yours. So please guys, kindly subscribe to my channel. Like and share my videos. Thank you. And watch out for another video from me. God bless you. Bye. Yes, this is our fourth year. You can see that. You can see this special delicacy. Can you see it? Can you see it with all the urushi rishi on top? This is a complete meal. This is just a complete meal. Very proteinous. Let's eat.